$131 million. That's down from the first estimate of $175 million. Five Eyewitness News reporter Bob McNamee is tracking the developments. He's live at the state capitol tonight. Bob? Yeah, you think that news would be all smiles as a result here at the Capitol, but certainly not the case. Even as those lower figures were coming in, the bickering between the governor and Republicans continued. Republicans firing this afternoon that the governor's priorities are in the wrong place. The cost estimate for roads is about $40 million lower than first thought. Plans still call for $55 million in improvements to 35W and $41 million in upgrades to 694. MnDOT says costs are down to the bone. We did a really good job, I think, of looking at all of the possible work that was in this proposal and, and kind of paring it down and getting, getting to the the important numbers and, and getting any fluff out of it. The Vikings are pleased with the cost reduction. Progress steps forward today on the on the traffic issues and and, uh, and now we get to focus in on the, the financing side of it and, and we're, we're almost there. And a concern of mine. Not so fast as Republicans who sit on the Senate Transportation Committee. They say the stadium has taken up too much of the governor's focus at a time when the budget is still not resolved. With Commissioner Sorrell and with the governor, they seem to be more focused on the Viking Stadium than they are on finishing the budget. They seem to be more focused on talking with Commissioner Goodell and talking about the issues in Arden Hills. The governor fired back. I'm right here. I'm available. I'm waiting around. I've been here all morning. I, you know, they're not in session. I, I, we're available and we'll continue to be available right around the clock. And as if that wasn't enough, there was some more discussion today about a Minneapolis site maybe still being in the mix. So all in all, a very busy day here at the Capitol and it appears that Arden Hills has some good news, but certainly not a done deal yet. At the Capitol, Bob McNaney, 5 Eyewitness News.